Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm going to demo the single coolest feature in the Godot 4.2 release, which was just released a few weeks back as of when I produced this video, and I love this feature. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now the astute among you might be going, wait a minute, that's not Godot, you're right, this is Blender, uh, and this is one of those things that was in Blender, in all honesty, when I first used Blender, I hated this with a passion, but I grew to love it, and now it's kind of essential to me, and I wish every application did this, and it is their hotkeys or shortcuts. So what you see, I have a default cube selected. There are a ton of things you can do with the keyboard uh, when it comes to Blender, it makes your workflow very fast. For example, I hit an X and sacrifice my default cube, because you gotta do that every video here. But what I'm gonna showcase is three sets of hotkeys in Blender. The scaling, the rotating, and the translation. Now, oddly enough, we'll start with translation because it's the weirdest name, G. You hit the G key, and then you can move things around. It's a hot key for translate. It's equivalent of doing W with the standard uh, QWERTY setup. Uh, so, like, why G? Well, apparently, grab. A very odd choice of things. Uh, at the same time, you could do the same thing with S. So, S, and then scale. Uh, and then we can do R and then rotate like so. And on the whole, those are just hotkeys. Nothing excited here so far, but now I'm gonna show you the power of Blender. So what I can do now is I'm gonna hit G and I'm gonna hit Y axis five. And what we just did is moved five units along the Y axis. You can do the opposite direction as well, by the way. So Y, um, G, Y, minus five, and then we're back to the origin. Now this also works for scaling. So I can do scale two. And we just scaled two uh, units in every single direction, basically, you know, um, quadrupled our total volume at that point in time. Or what I could do is just scale, say, Z axis three. And we just scaled it three units along the Z axis. Once you start getting used to this, it is super, super powerful. You can also do the same thing with rotation. So I'm gonna do, uh, say, rotate X 45 degrees. And there you go, we just rotated 45 degrees around the X axis. And then again, I could do something like G uh, X three or two. There, so you can see, you can use this combination of hot keys uh, to really, really fluently move around very, very fast and precisely in uh, Blender. And once you get used to this, it is just a beautiful thing. Now I do wish they used the QWERTY keys, uh, just like everybody else, but that wasn't invented until Maya several years later. This is one of the things Blender has done from the very beginning. Again, R and S makes sense. G, grab, a little bit less so. But anyways, I have loved these since, since like they sunk into me. And if you use Blender and then move on over to Godot, this is even more important you try this out and turn it on. So now what we're gonna do is head on over to Godot. Now, first thing we're gonna need is a default cube. There isn't one. So we're gonna go ahead and do, I guess, the closest thing I can do. So CSG uh, mesh or CSG box 3D. All right, there we go. So we got a cube to work with, and now we want to have those Blender style controls. How do we turn those on? Well, again, this is a uh, Godot 4.2 feature. So the newest release, at least as of I'm recording this, you go into editor settings, and then you go from general over to shortcuts like so. And what you're looking for is it's not pre, it's begin. All right, so come up here, search, and do begin. And then what you're gonna find is you have these three options right here. Now, I've actually already configured them all from a previous setting, so I guess it's a global setting I've got going on, but I'll show you the process. So here I've done rotate, scale, and then translate. I set the R key, the S key, and the G key up already. So let me just show you how to set up rotate, for example. So basically, go and find begin rotate transformation, do a plus sign here, and then hit the key you wish to use. You can also have modifiers if you so wish, but then done. All right, so we've now got it there. And what I've got here is my uh, default cube. By the thing, you'll also find that uh, there's these new uh, manipulator controls in 4.2, very nice new feature as well. So if you haven't recognized those before, for dealing with volumes and shapes, there's these new um, profile settings, very nice. So if I wanna go ahead and move this guy again, I could do this. So here we are on the Z axis, moving this guy around. Or what I can now do is G, Z, three. And I just moved three units on the Z axis. And now with that guy there, I could do a scale of two, or again, I could do a scale Y two, like so. And then finally, same deal as before, rotate X 45, and you can rotate 45 degrees along the X axis. Once you've gotten used to using these particular hotkeys, it just makes life so much faster. Again, if you're trying to go for like snap together precision here, like direct units, uh, it's just really wonderful to be able to do things like GX 
two units or GX negative four units go the other direction. Uh, these combination of hotkeys, again, make Blender and Godot just so much nicer to work with. And a lot of people are using both Blender and Godot in this day and age and having that same set of controls carry between them, very, very nice. And then once again, also part of this release is these new manipulator features. And as you can see, when you're off axis, like when you've got something rotated and it's not really aligned, you can see for setting up profile shapes and outlines and such, nice new feature as well. Got literally nothing to do with this video. That was just another feature that was added in Godot 4.2 as well. But Blender style control keys are now available in Godot 4.2 and beyond, and I absolutely love them. A quick recap, again, just go into editor, editor settings, search for begin, find begin, rotate transformation, uh, begin scale transformation, and translate transformation, and then just pick the key you wish to use, and you are good to go. If you want to get rid of this and undo it, just basically XXX all those out, and you are done. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Blender style controls. By the way, your default will be unbound, so they'll all be in here and have no keys attached to them at all. Uh, so they're not going to work until you actually turn this on. So hopefully you guys found that useful. Again, if you've never used Blender style hotkeys, I highly recommend trying it. Once you get used to it, it just becomes essential. So again, my favorite new feature in Godot uh, 4.2 uh, is this new Blender style controls. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.